Okay, police. Two weeks ago I made a video about the police. August the 27th, it was just over, just slightly over two weeks ago. I was stopped and searched in broad daylight for no reason. I had handcuffs slapped on me. I was treated like a fucking piece of, a piece of shit. Just for walking down the road in broad daylight, for doing absolutely nothing. By these three fucking parasites. And they were parasites, all three of them. Now I've never made a video about the police before that. I've never slated the police before that day. But the way they treat people, the way I was treated, I'm going off the way I was treated. I'm sure other people have been treated more fairly, but me on that day, I was treated like a fucking piece of cow, a piece of shit on that day. Handcuffs whacked on me for 10 minutes while they just sat there and rattled through my bags and searched me up and down, treat me like a complete asshole. Now, I'll leave the video, the link down below to that video. Now, that was on August the 27th, 2014, which was slightly over two weeks ago. Now, I was stopped and searched today. September the 14th. Two weeks later. Three miles from where I was searched the first time. I've been stopped and searched two times in two weeks. And... I got searched three miles away from where I got searched the last time. Three miles away. I got two buses out of my area to go in to visit somebody, visit my dad. Two miles away. Two to three miles away in a completely fucking different area. Two buses to get there. And I got off the bus. I went into a shop. I walked across the road. I walked directly in a straight line. Straight round the corner. There's an alleyway that leads up, to, up the stairs to where my where my old man is living and I got up to the top now he he happened not to be in at the time he was out so I walked down the stairs and I was just coming back through the alleyway and who did I bump into yep the fucking police and it wasn't just any police now I could understand maybe just maybe if it was just just randomly some police in the area just happened to be the exact same two fucking cunts that actually pulled me over two weeks ago, the exact same two people. And the first thing that come out of this asshole's mouth, the first police officer was, you again. You again. That was their first two words that came out of his mouth. You again, not, what are you doing here? Not, I don't know, pull a warrant card out and explain who you were. Once again, they, they didn't explain who they were when they first came in. Walked around the corner of an alleyway, didn't state that they, didn't pull out a warrant card, didn't state they were police, again, same fucking bullshit they did the last time. So obviously it's it's in their heads. They know, but well, they don't know. They or they do know. They just don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't identify themselves properly at first. They don't. They come out with all the wrong shit. They don't care. It's just intimidating tactics. It's it's the way they work. It's the way they act towards people. It's bred into them. You know that they they don't do their job properly. They don't ask the right questions. They don't ask you the right questions. The first thing is out of his mouth. You again. I mean. It was just over two weeks ago, you motherfucker. You, you still remember what I look like. You know, I'm in a completely different area. You just walked around an alleyway and within two to three seconds, the first words out of your mouth are, you again. Not, I'm a police officer, what are you doing? You know, the normal questions that a police officer should be asking. But, you again. Ah, oh, you know, you, you're, you're doing something dodgy, you're doing something illegal, straight away just trying to put the fucking little intimidating bullshit onto me, like, I'm, I'm the one who's in the wrong, you know? Okay, so I asked myself, you know, the first time it happened, I walked away paranoid. You know, I was paranoid straight after. I was paranoid walking into the shop straight after I left, and I was took off the handcuffs. I was paranoid that people were following me. I was paranoid security guards were looking at me, and that was the first time. The second time... I got back on the bus. I just went straight immediately home. I didn't feel like going into any shops. I just walked straight into my fucking house, straight back home, closed the door over. And if you think you're paranoid after the first time, imagine how paranoid you are after the second time when you're three miles away and you've just been stopped and searched. And they did stop and search me. They asked me to go upstairs, show where I was coming from. I explained that my dad wasn't in. He actually wrapped a chain around the gate so no one else could get in while he was out. And I explained this to the officer. The officer didn't believe that I was the son of the person who lived there. So what the female officer did was she climbed over the gate 
and she stuck her eyes, she opened up the letterbox of my dad's property, or the property there, and she looked inside. She opened up the letterbox and looked inside, and then she climbed back over and she asked me to explain what was inside the door. Now, of course, I'm going to know these questions because I've been in there many times. But no matter what way I come out with it, I could state everything. And I did. I stated everything that was in front of her that she was looking at. You know, I stated what was inside that property. But even if I didn't state it, if I stated or I didn't state it, I'm still going to look guilty. I'm going to still look like public enemy number one. That I was casing the, the place out to break into it. It doesn't exactly make shine me in a good light no matter what I say. So, and after she questioned me and they searched my bag and they found nothing, I explained that I went to the shop on the way down. I had a rucksack on me. I was dressed near enough, identical to the way I was dressed before, you know. I'll leave the link down below. You can watch that, that video where it shows me the way I was dressed before. And I stated that I went into a shop on the way to the property and I had food on me when my bag was searched. You know, I went into the shop, I, I bought things like soup and stuff like that, I had him in my rucksack. Once again, he looked at the bulky bag that was wrapped around my shoulder, the rucksack, and he thought that I was coming out with some dodgy goods. And he had a smile on his face, can I let me search your bag? And at first I thought, well, I know the routine now, I've got my hands out of my pockets, I'm not... I haven't got my hands in my pockets, there's no reason for him to slap the handcuffs on me, so he couldn't do that on me this time. So... I, he asked me if he could look in my bag. I just looked at him funny. I just gave him a, a stare. And then he asked me again, uh, Can I, let me have a look in your bag. I went, why? He said, I'm not going to ask you again. You know, the intimidating shit. So I, let, I gave him the bag and he looked in my bag and, you know, I had a big, I had a tub of soup in there. Because that's what, that's, what, that's what people who are about to rob people's houses do, you know. They go to the local supermarket and they fill their rucksack up with soups and bread and stuff like that just before they go in and rob a house because that makes total sense doesn't it i'm going to fill my rucksack up something that i should be putting stolen property into with soup and even though they found the soup and they because they said what were you doing before you came down there i said i was going to the shop even though i explained this and they found the soup and they didn't find fuck all else on me the woman told me the woman police officer the fucking little cunt that she is three times in a row she says to me I don't believe a word you're saying. Even though she shirts me in sh two times in two weeks and they found nothing two times in two weeks, she still doesn't believe me. It makes me think, were these people following me? Were these people waiting for me? Because at this point now, I'm paranoid as fuck. I mean, just picture it. I'm 40 years old nearly. I've never been stopped once in my life. And then all of a sudden, Two times in two weeks, in two different areas, three miles apart from each other, I get stopped and searched by the same two police officers. One in broad daylight walking down the road, and the second time in some alleyway three miles away. The same two cunts had just happened to be there. And I'm not supposed to be paranoid or act a little bit funny towards that. So, they searched me, they found nothing. And I, I said to them, I want both your names and numbers because I want to log complaints in against a pair of you for harassment and discrimination and he said discrimination what do, you, what do you mean discrimination you know how could I possibly be getting discriminated against I mean a white a white male surely we can't discriminate white people yeah you know, then again they probably think that about everyone you know they they don't give a fuck but so they took me back to the car to write me out the um I'm not going to show you the actual size, but these are the actual reports they filled in. They give you these little slips and it gives you a detailed report on what these um, Metropolitan, I'll just show you that bit there, Metropolitan Police, see if you can read that. Okay, the search grounds. Now, <clears throat> remember I told you I walked in a straight line into this property. All I did was walk across the road, walk in a straight line. Didn't look around, didn't look about, look a bit suspicious. This is the way she made it out. Search grounds, they write down the reasons why they stopped you. Male was seen ducking into a residential alleyway. Ducking. I'm pretty sure if you look into 
look into the dictionary of what the word ducking means. Ducking, I'm pretty sure that's when, you, when you're when you cowering on fucking all fours or something. You just, well, you're just bending down a little bit and going into... I was walking in a straight fucking line, you dumb cunts. In a straight line. But this is, this is what they do. I mean, they know I'm going to go down and file a fucking report into the police in the morning. I told them I'm going to report them for harassment. It goes against their name. Yeah, if someone pulls you over and it's, un, it's unjustified, f file a fucking report against them. It goes against their name. All these log, all, they're all reported, they're all logged, and it will go against them. It will show up at the end of the year on their little fucking rotor or whatever that so many complaints have been made, and it could actually make a change in next year. They might turn around and say, okay, we're going to drop this part of the stop and search, or they might stop it completely. I highly doubt it, but you know, you've got, you've got to report these motherfuckers. But search grounds, male was seen ducking into a residential alleyway. I mean, why didn't she just state, male was seen crawling into the alleyway, and as we approached him, he started to climb the walls like Spider-Man. We caught him on the second, but he didn't have anything on him. You see, it's just a bullshit like this. Okay, he was seen ducking into a residential alleyway area, being hit for burglaries. Of course, you know, wh why did you pull me the last time? I was walking down the road in broad daylight. We pulled you because there was a spate of burglaries in the area. This was in an area in London called Acton, yeah? Three miles away today, I was caught in the Ealing area of London. You know, so I must be travelling all around London with my rucksack trying to steal shit. But of course I'm in the shop first buying up tins of soup because that's what people do. These are supposed to be police who know what they're doing. Yeah, bollocks. Uh, part of some squad called the Proactive Squad. Should call it the fucking moron squad. They should call it anything but the Proactive Squad. A bunch of fucktars, a lot of them. You know, and after they searched me, what they did was they made me go up the stairs of this property first. Up, there was some iron stairs leading up to this property, and they asked me to, um... That's where they decided to do the search, you know, the buttfuck, basically, where they, they started stripping, taking everything out of my bags and all this. And five minutes later, when, I, when they brought me back down to the car, which was just parked outside the alleyway, just so beautifully parked just outside, like, they, they followed me from fucking acting. Fuck knows. Maybe it's me being paranoid, but you think the same two people, you wonder where the fuck they came from in the first place. But, anyway, they take me back to their car five minutes after they do the search. You know, they're, they're still writing shit out. Like she, She's sitting there writing out, like, the story of her life that I'm going to take down to the police station first thing in the morning. She wants to make sure that when she when I hand this little piece, this little piece of paper in and give her name and number, that she's going to have her little story wrote out, her, her pile of bollocks wrote out, you know. He was ducking into the alleyway. He was climbing up walls. He's Spider-Man. Go fuck yourself. I was walking in a straight line, you bitch. Okay? Four or five minutes later, we're in the car. She's writing this out. The other cunt, the male police officer, decides that, oh, he, he's just, he's just realised that he's holding my Oyster card. You know, I had an Oyster card on me, which I used to guess on travel around London on buses and trains. He just happens to have it on him. He forgot to give it back to me. You know, because I was what I was standing watching her writing out these these bits of paper so she could butt fuck me in the morning, and he, as I turned around, I noticed that he had an oyster card in his hand, and I'm thinking, what the fuck are you doing with my oyster card? You searched my bag. Why isn't that in my bag where it was initially when you were upstairs five minutes ago? Now it's in his hand, and also at the same time when I see this in his hand, he has a piece of paper in the other hand, and he's writing down, which could only be assumed the number on the back of my oyster card. Why would you be doing that? Oh, so now you're going to use my oyster card against me and try and trace where I'm going on my oyster card around London. An oyster card is something where you can get on any transport around London and you can find out the locations by, you can track oyster cards. You know, that's, this is what they use to track criminals. So, I can only assume, and when I, when I turned around and said, if you write, are you writing down the name on my oyster card? He went, no. I've fucking seen him do it, the cunt. He's sitting there writing out on a piece of paper. He says, no, no, no. He said, I was just looking at this card because I thought it had a name on it. I said, why is it not in my bag? He said, oh, I, uh, whilst we were walking down the stairs, I must have forgot to put it back in there. What I was doing, I was just checking to see whether it had a name that corresponded with all the other names in the car. You know what I mean? It's just total bullshit like that. So now I'm going to have to go out and buy another Oyster card. And when you buy an Oyster card and you live in the London area, you can use it for transport. Go into a shop and buy an Oyster card. I'm going to have to go in there and write down a fake name because I'm not writing down my original name. 
And he's, a, he's probably end up tracing my fucking Oyster card now, so he's going to track me around London and figure out where I'm going. He probably thinks I'm robbing, robbing houses all over London. Because the first thing this woman says to me after she wrote out this, she went, I don't believe for a second that you, you are who you say you are. You know, I could have given a number to my dad. I could have given the police officers a mobile number and gave that to them and said, if you ring this number up, the person on the other end of that line will confirm who I am, whose house you're standing outside right now. But I'm not giving the fucking police any more information than they need. Because they'll only use it against me on something. Fuck them. I wouldn't give them that, that kind of information. Okay, so the female police officer has just finished writing off her amazing essay for the morning for the um, whoever I'm going to be reporting this to. And at the same time, the male police officer decides to pull my tracksuit top away from me, from where I was wearing it at the time. He pulled it up, just so he could get a closer look at what my t-shirt said, because my t-shirt has a brand name across it. I says, why, why, why are you doing that for? He says, oh, I just wanted to see what it said. Why, what, why, why do you want to know what my t-shirt says for? What's the odds that you're gonna catch me in again in a week's time wearing the same t-shirt or some shit like that? I don't get the way the police work. I don't get why they do stupid fucking little things like that. Stupid little things that irritate people, you know? You can tell I'm wound up in this in this video, right? When I was, I asked a hell of a lot of questions to these police officers while I was there. I made sure, I wanted an explanation for every single thing they'd done. The last time they caught me off guard, you know? I went home, I checked out, you know, you, you, you become familiar with the way the police work. So you've got a, a rough idea the next time it happens to you, what's going on. So you're going to think, okay, you got, I forgot to ask them this time. So here I am, I'm throwing that motherfucker a hundred different questions. I'm asking him a hundred different things. And they, they've got answers for everything. It's like they're, they're compulsive liars. They've, they've, got, they've got answers and reasons for every single thing you throw at them. It's like they've said it a hundred single, they've said it a billion times. They must come up with the same, regurgitate, regurgitate the same bullshit to every single person they fuck over on a daily, weekly, monthly, ba yearly basis. You know, they just come out with the same shit. They're just computerized fucking robots. They're just trained to sit there and s feed you bullshit. This is what, this is all they fucking do. Okay, so certain people say you shouldn't question the police. I've been told if the police come up to you on the street and they, they want to do things like search you, you know, don't put up a fight, just fair cop guff, all that shit, you know. Just accept what they're doing, but ask questions. Ask questions about everything. Because, believe it or not, you're, you're, not, you're not doing anything wrong. You have the right to ask questions. You know, if you've got a bag full of hot items on you, fair enough, you, you, write, you don't really have a fucking argument. You ain't got a leg to stand on. But when you've done nothing wrong, ask the questions. Just ask a hundred questions, yeah? Wind them up. Wind them up like that. You know, people say you shouldn't wind the police up. Let them do, let them do their search, you know. Let, you know, some, I know that certain people don't give their names, addresses, and they let the police drag them in. I mean, I could have done that, but I don't want to be sitting in a cell for an hour or two waiting for, you know, while they're pestering me to give them their name. And I can't be asked with all that shit. You know, I'm not one of these people. But, you know, you can, you can give them what they want. But at the same time, you can still fuck them up. You can still wind them up. And you're entitled to wind them up because they can't do nothing to you. You sit there and you ask them a hundred questions and just keep repeating the same question to them. Like the way they, the way they, way they repeat the fucking same questions to you. They're asking you, what, what were you doing here? What? Because they'll ask you a hundred fucking times. Ask them a question a hundred times and watch them get worked up. Watch them get fucking wound up at you. And the thing that pissed me off most about this guy is that I can't stand either of these police officers now. You know, a female and a male police officer, I've seen them two times in my lifetime and I despise them. I have their faces etched in my brain now. I know what they both look like now and they scun me. You know, these are, these are police. These are people who are put on the street to protect you and look after you and make you feel safe. Yet these are the two people who I hate the most on this earth right now. I despise them with a fucking burning passion. I fucking hate them. You know, and these are police. He actually says to me, just as the female police officer was getting in the car, and they were plain clothes, you know. You know, didn't roll up in a normal police car. Everything was just completely... But the thing that irritated me the most about what he says was, on the way out, when they found nothing in my bag, nothing on my person, so they couldn't get me on anything, this time, he, I suppose his little way of not getting me with anything says, I don't get you. That was what he says to me on the way into the car. And I says, what do you mean by that? He says, I just, I just can't make you out. 
You see, this is the kind of shit they come out to with people who they they suspect, yet they don't find the evidence on. There's no evidence of me stealing anything. So they, what can they do? What can they say? They turn around to the per to person who they're fucking over and they say, I don't get you. I just can't make you out. You know why you can't get me? You know why you can't make me out? Because I've done fuck all wrong, you cunt. I've done nothing. You see, when you walk down the road and you pull innocent people over, you can't get them. You can't get fuck all on them. Because that I've done fuck all wrong. That's why. You're in the wrong. I don't get you, you cunt. I don't get the fucking police. You're all a bunch of fucking cunts. Again.